it turns out I'm a petty thief. Go figure. Hello fellow hiders of blue and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to paint a super amazing, fast, easy and very good looking rotting skin. This is not my recipe sadly, this recipe is made by a very very talented artist named uh, Tyler Mengel. If you don't know who he is, which is rare, but if you don't know who he is, please go check the link in the description to his Instagram account. He has tons of tutorials, all as good as this one, and he's an extremely talented artist. So please go check it out. And without further ado, let's get cracking. So, we are starting this time from a from a base coat of Corax White. Yeah, that's the the white spray from GW. We want to start from I really like that as a base color for this kind of technique for the flesh. And we will start with a wash of a 50-50 mix of regular flesh shade and lamium medium. Apply this all over the flesh. In fact I usually apply this all over the model. Don't let it pull too much, but you want this to tint all the skin. Our wash of Reclam Flesh Shade is completely dry, and we will apply a second wash all over that with a 50 50 mix of Lamia Medium and Athonian Camo Shade. This green wash will give the flesh the very deceased and dead looking tone we want. As always watch for too much pulling and wipe it off. We will do another coat when this uh, coat is dry, exactly the same. So now we have our two coats of um, Athonian Camo Shade dry now I'm going to play another wash. This time is a Carabao Crimson, and we will apply this into the open wound. Be careful not to put it anywhere else. I will also put this into his mouth. Our Carbo Crimson is now dry and I'm going to glaze a 50-50 mix of Carbo Crimson and Lamia Medium around all the areas where I applied Carbo Crimson. This will help make an appearance of bruising. So. If you feel the transition is, is too harsh, quickly clean your brush and smooth out the glaze. And now I'm going to apply another glaze, in this case it's a Rutii Violet mixed with Lamia Medium again, a 50-50 mix. And I'm going to apply this around all these small wounds that doesn't have Carbo Crimson. And the eyes. And also random patches where I feel I need a bit more color variation.
So we have all, my, all our washers and, and, and shades applied and it's time to highlight the model. For this I'm using palette with flesh and I'm just doing an edge highlight all around it. Our edge highlight in the palette which flesh is finished and as you can see the model is looking amazing. That edge highlight brought up all of the detail and gave us a very very nice contrast. And for our last step I'm going to apply a glaze of Carabao Crimson over all the guts and open wounds that we highlighted. Uh, avoid doing the bones and also don't apply a very thick coat of this. So just over the guts, very thin coat, over here, over to his mouth again, Oops. and here I'm going to just apply on the edges and avoid the center of the bones, forgot the brain. So with that last step, the zombie skin is completed. I also took the liberty to finish the whole model while I was at it. So this is a really really fun thing to paint. It's very useful if you are painting a large number of them in a batch because you can do all the washes one after the other very fast and if you skip the last highlight it's not really that difficult or time consuming. So as always I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.